Hey everybody, Johnny here. If you're anything like me, picking good color combinations can be a bit of a challenge sometimes. I wanted to create a, an extension that might help me out a little bit, and I wanted to share it with you. I'm gonna put a link down in the description that will take you to my GitHub page that will explain how you can install this extension, but let me get right into how this thing works. So once you've installed the extension, it shows up as a panel in your material properties. Then all I need to do is if I have an object selected, I can choose my initial color right here. And let's say I want to use uh, this blue color. With my object selected, I can just say set color. That object has had its base color set. And if I go to solid mode, uh, you'll see that it also sets the viewport color, which is pretty handy. You can see here that I've got this in complementary mode. And so in addition to having a swatch with my base color, it's also created a swatch for my complementary color. So I can choose another object and say set color. Now let's say I already have a color assigned to an object like this and I want to bring this into my color harmony tools. I could cut and paste it from my base color here and paste it up here, or with my object selected, I can say get color, and it'll grab the base color of that object's material and stick it up here in the color harmony tools. In addition to setting the base color, you'll see that I can also set the specular, the emission, the coat, and the sheen all from right here as well. So here, I've got emission, add the strength here a little bit, and then come up here. I can set the emission color just like that. So there are 12 different modes you can use. There's complementary and near complementary. Near complementary takes the complementary color and then adjusts it by a number of degrees around the color wheel. It's not quite the complementary color. It's just softened to one side or the other. You've got split complementary which goes across the color wheel and then picks a color on either side of the complement. Extended split complementary simply is the same, except it adds in the exact complementary as well. Analogous puts our base color right in the middle and then chooses colors on either side of it at different degree intervals. And you can adjust the amount of colors that you're getting and you can choose how far away they are from each other. If we were to have it like this, and we were to bring our angle down, these colors will start to get more and more similar. And if we bring it up, they'll get further and further apart. Accented analogous simply is the same thing, except it adds in the exact complement to the end here. Triadic is three colors that are evenly spaced, starting with your chosen base color. And extended triadic is the same thing, except it also includes the exact complement as well tacked on to the end here. Square is a four color scheme, and it's simply four colors that are evenly spaced, starting at your base color. Tetradic is a lot like square, except instead of each of the points being 90 degrees away from each other along the color wheel, you set how much that first one is away. So in this case, it's 60 degrees. So it'll be 60, 30, 60, 30. Monochromatic starts with your base color, and works its way down until you get to black or near black. And you can also increase the number of steps in your monochromatic. And then achromatic is very similar, except it just gives you a grayscale palette. And you can also adjust the number of steps in your grayscale palette. Now this doesn't only just work with principled BSDFs, so let's change this center one from principled to metallic. Now when I click on this object, you'll see that my set buttons have gone away. That's because right now it's trying to set the principled BSDF node in this shader tree, and it doesn't have one. It has a metallic. There's a couple of different ways we can switch this, so it's trying to adjust the correct node. First is if we clear this box out, we can then search, and it will show us all of the nodes inside of the active material that the Harmony tools know about, and that's most of the BSDF nodes. So I can choose metallic here, and when I do that, you can see now I can set the base color and the edge tint right here. If I click back on one of these principles shader ones, you'll see I get the same thing, 
And instead of clearing this out and choosing principled BSDF, I can also just click get node. And that will do the same thing. So that's the Harmony tools as they sit right now. So like I said, if you're interested, follow that link in the description, load this into Blender, give it a try and see how it works for you. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. As always, I hope this inspires you to make something awesome. And until next time, I'll catch you later.